Look, that's really nice of you, but I can't do that to Liza. She's been too good to me. I mean, she, she could have fought me for Stuart, but she didn't. She gave me time with him. And now that I've made this decision, I can't, I can't stick around and rub her face in it. I, I just want whatever's easiest for you. I know how hard it's been, you know? If you want to stay, we can do that. But if you really want to leave, that's cool, too. And I'll just quit my job and go with you. You do that? I, I can get a lame job, like, pretty much anywhere. So just pick a place you want to go. We'll head there, the three of us. Hey, you don't really need your parents, Bailey. You got me. I don't understand you. You fight like hell in a courtroom for a man you can't even stand. But then you just roll over when it comes to fighting for your own son. He's Bailey's son. No, that's a cop-out. He's been your son since he was a few days old. Yes, she gave birth to him, but you're the one who's taken care of him, loved him, and protected him. She has never wanted to do any of that. But, well, she wants to now. And the law's on her side. You know the law more than anyone else here. Mom, fight for him. Maybe I could. Sure, I could fight for him for, what, a month, two months, what, even a year, maybe. The outcome? It's still going to be the same. And who's going to suffer for that Stuart? Honey, he needs a full-time mother, not two women that are playing tug of war with him. Listen, isn't it better that he go now than before the two of us get too attached no. to him? No, no. It won't matter when we do it. I won't love Stuart any less. Listen. I get it. I, I know that this is, this is hard for you, but um, I don't have a choice. Yeah, you do. You're just making the wrong one. Did you see how he did that? Tried to suck me back in. If it hadn't been for Scott coming in with Annie's phone call, I wouldn't play for a sucker again. I don't think that that's what your dad was trying to do. I think that he was actually being sincere. You could see the pain in his eyes when he talked about how much he missed you and little Adam. I think that he wants his family back. Unfortunately, that includes Annie. That's not a family that I want to be a part of. Stop. You want that relationship with your dad back. Okay, it doesn't matter what I want. It's about his priorities. His kids or his demented wife. And sadly, his kids have been coming in a distant second. Are you just now getting that? It seems like when our parents get down to the crunch time, they don't really put their kids on high priority lists. They want you to think we're special, but all they really care about are um, themselves. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the cynic here. What's going on with you? Well, just look at my mom. Are you kidding me? All I ever did was fight for you. She even went as far as kidnapping you from Adam. No, no, I'm talking about the baby, Stuart. Just because he's adopted, she doesn't think he's worth fighting for. I mean, what do you think? Do you think your adoptive parents would fight for you if Crystal had changed her mind? My parents would have done anything for me. Exactly. So I'm not going to let my mom roll over like this. We need to do something. Do you think you can help me file an injunction or whatever and keep Bailey from leaving town with my baby brother? I'm not a lawyer yet, Colby. And even if I were, you can't sue for custody if Liza's willing to give him up. But she doesn't know what she's doing. She, she's freaking out and making the biggest mistake of her life. Please, can you just, like, help me uh, talk some sense into her? Look, I know that you love that little boy. But that's Liza's choice. Even if you don't agree with her, you can't make it for her. Maybe not. But I sure as hell can try and change people's minds. You okay? Nope. Pretty screwed up here. <laughs> I wish I could cry, but I'm too tired. <laughs> 
like, you know, the idea of going back into that apartment, it's like walking into a tomb. Piece of cake. Still got the key to Jake's. I'll take you back there. I can't keep leaning on you like this. Sure you can. of Adam's uh, impassioned plea in court. You know very well he's going to pull every dirty trick in the book he can to try to get Annie's name cleared. So then they're both going to be coming after him. And don't worry, I will be prepared. But as Spike and Emma's only parent right now, I just I don't, ha I don't have time for Zach's games. Zach's games? Yes. Seems that Adam is not the only person who wants to take something from me. I could, I could really... Use your help here. Is there any chance that you could keep an eye on Zach for me? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's trying to destroy everything that Kendall has ever touched. 